Sometimes they come to me and tell me how lucky I am because I travel. Because I just quit my job and went to places they will probably never go. Training in the desert, abandoned islands or legendary gyms. Doing exotic things like surfing in the desert, sleeping on the mats around the world or searching for giant turtles in the Middle East in pitch black. But I don't think they got me right. My guide in this is always saying that traveling is a must do for everyone. But what I found out is that the most important journey for my personal development is the one out of my comfort zone, the same as in Jiu-Jitsu. Nobody is selling tickets for that travel, no one is giving you a right on this trip, you have to do it by yourself. If you don't try to go out of your comfort zone, it doesn't really matter if you take the plane to the other side of the globe, because you stay the same. Pictures from different places don't make you a better or more developed person, but talking to different people, even from your local community, might do. I don't respect very much the ones who never even try to get out of their comfort zone, but the only people that I dislike more are those who pretend to be some kind of a life coaches and tell you what you should or shouldn't do. So I better shut the fuck up. 5.45 the time and we have got a nice SMS saying greetings from the BJJ Nomad <laughs> crew. We're in the middle of the desert on the Jiu Jitsu documentary and listening to you. Big high five to you guys. Hope you're having a good one. BJJ Nomad! Our journey as BJJ Nomads continues. We will fly to a place that many Archie Suave followers dream of visiting, United Arab Emirates. I will be honest, there I had huge eye-opening experiences. I exposed some stereotypes and gained unexpected new ones. As I said before, it doesn't matter where you will go, but who will you meet there and what will you learn? BJJ Nomads, living by the, by the, by the, by the, by the key. Aloha.